350 of our closest friends, I admit a lot of them came from Atlanta, but they also came from all over the world as far away as South Africa and Peru. And we started a Trickville boat ramp just west of town here. A major attraction along the way was what we were calling Valdosta's $100 million waterfall, which I'm sure the utilities directors know what I'm talking about, the outfall from the Wisconsin Wastewater Treatment Plant. And, you know, they all, the paddlers understood that was clean water. But when I posted a video of that online, people started sharing and going, why, Valdosta, can't you ever stop? Put me in the uncomfortable position of having to edit it and say, no, no, this is what we want. That's the clean water. But it's an example of the perception problem that needs to be dealt with. Uh, as far as ecotourism, uh, we, Swanee River Keeper Walls Watershed Coalition, have a thing coming up October 26. We call it the Walls Boomerang. Traveled from uh, Moselle Spell, Madison Highway Boat Ramp, whichever name you like, into Florida and back into Georgia. So I'd really be appreciative if especially uh, Hamilton and Madison counties would be interested in cooperating. Oh, and thank you to uh, Mayor Gale for sending Tim Carroll and to the county for uh, the chairman came and spoke at uh, the confluence of Blue River and the Wipicucci River, which was really good PR for Valdosta County. And the chairman of the Swanigan County, Rick Gamble, came to stay. So this next event you want to. It's called the uh, Walls Boomerang. It's October 26. I'll send you all an invitation uh, on the table there. It's no the way from the day before. Now, now, I didn't stand up in front of the Valdosta City Council on several occasions to talk about the out of Georgia and invite each and every one of you. So there are plenty of examples of things that can be done about tourism. One that's pretty new. Those of you from Florida, you know all about the Swanee River Wilderness Trail and the Wilk and the River Camps, right? And there are none of those in Georgia. The Georgians are probably wondering, what's he talking about? Well, they're pretty fancy. They've got bathrooms, they've got hot and cold running water, they've got hot showers, they've got elevated sleeping platforms that are screened in, and they're free. There's five of them along the Swanee River. There is a perfect place for that, which is at Confluence of Little River and with Gucci River. It's like complication, but it's private land. It's about 70 acres, about 100,000. It's that expensive because it's all floodplain. But you could easily build something like a river camp on it. And uh, the landowners would really like to find funding to do that. Uh, the river camp itself, according to Edwin Matua, the Swanee River Water Management District, would cost around half a million. Now, where did this come from? The Georgia Outdoor Stewardship Program is an obvious grant program, so that's one idea. If y'all want ecotourism across the state line, this would be a thing that would encourage people to start maybe even higher up on the Little River or with Gucci stop there to see them down in Florida. So it's thought. I could talk longer, but I think it's all time. <laughs> Thank you. So maybe that's something we'll never try to reach us out in the student organizations, maybe put it some idea. Um, so that's that's all I have uh, as far as quality comments. If you don't mind, Mayor, I'd like to open up for us and have a little bit if they have any questions for, for anybody, director of use or mayor or anything.